here we are back again at the Secret Shred House in Oregon. This compound is massive and it is awesome looking. And today we have a special guest. He's got a very unique car. Let's go check it out. I know you. What's up, Rich? How you doing? All right. What did you bring this time? So, 69 Plymouth Barracuda with a few modifications to it, of course. Full fiberglass, front end, billet grill, and carbon fiber hood. Sheet metal over fenders in the back, 75 millimeter, all steel in the back. Running the 1812s in the back, the 335s get a little try and get some traction out of this thing. So right away you can notice. Well, there's a couple things you notice exterior-wise. The grill is different. Completely different. Yep. Because you even made a different like insert for it. If you've seen these cars before stock, you definitely widened it. A little 75 bit. mil over fenders. Yeah. Yeah. Plus the color definitely stands out. So on these cars, did it have indicators on it? So you yeah, shaved they them. Did. Well, yeah. I mean, the whole front end is all one piece fiberglass. Yeah, they used to have two separate thrills with a split in the middle and exposed headlights and I just went with the full tucked and everything and did it all over. <laughs> Hurts all tripping on it. Two things. What is this thing? And two, I f***ing love it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is dope. This is your style. Yeah. Nobody else has this. No. Nope. That looks tough though. You don't really see them done like this style because this is definitely more of like a custom almost. Oh yeah. The yeah. wide body. You pull oh, stuff yeah, out. Wide, oh yeah. This is wide body? This yeah, this is not stock. Well, it's a great year. It's a 69. 69. <laughs> Dope. Right away, <laughs> hurts all about it. So let's get into the meat. Let's see what's underneath the sheets. Let's see what's in there. What? Wow. So it's Whoa. a Hemi. It's supercharged and it's injected. And it's injected. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I've okay. never seen this. Yeah, I made all that. Of course she did. Nice, huh? Of course she did. I took that to a show once. The dad told his kid it's a show car. It doesn't run because it has no carburetor. Apparently, he didn't know what fuel injection he, looks nah. like <laughs> on an old domestic. Your setup then. Compression? Okay. Compression is only 8 to 1, and I only run about 11 pounds of boost right now because it is still basically street car and pump gas, and I do like to drive it and don't want to have to spend a lot on race gas. Is the stock bore on it still? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't bore it over. I figured if I ever damage the motor, I can always bore it later. So it's still a 426? This is actually a 354. What? It's the early generation. Oh. Yeah, it's the early, early. It's, which is the same block as the 392, just a little bit shorter deck. Right. No, I made that. Of course. Hang on. Yeah. This is like our boy who showed up with Starion. He just built everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. There's awesome. more oh, parts on this thing from like a Home Depot than like most auto parts stores. That was one of my first You made this? Jobs. I made that. I made those. It is too, yeah. Custom made by John. Uh, custom made by me. And now let's talk your supercharger then. The V671. It doesn't have the standard bottom bolting flange on it. I just didn't like the way the standard ones look, so I built that one and I made the manifold to mount it and everything. I just like the cleaner look of it being more tucked in instead of the big bolting flange on the outside and everything. So all the parts that then accompany it, the drive, the gear cover, of course all the injection, the manifold, all the water crossover and all the mounts and everything, I made all of that. No, this is one of a kind. It's unique. You made it with your own two mitts yep. and it's awesome. So we have the, you have your power plant. Is it got a torque flight behind it? 727, yep. yeah. It was Chrysler's really good one back in the day. It's super beefy to handle this kind of power, yep. this kind of torque really. So we got 600 horse, what has it got on torque? You know, I don't really ever remember. <laughs> wow. I bought it in 91. Ooh. It's been like this since 04. So. so this is your baby. Oh yeah, that was my, my high school car. I still oh, own wow. it. <laughs> Everybody wishes they still had theirs and I still do. Ah, the smells. 
For those who aren't familiar with cars from the 60s, even the 50s, they have a unique smell and no matter what. This has new, new, newer interior. New, newer. And it still has that same smell. So if next time you see one of these, try and get a whiff. It sounds weird, but it, never mind. Wow. Can you peep these gauges though? Oh. Yeah. He's got all this stuff so he can see all the vitals when he's running. Does that say pyrometer? PGT, yeah. Wow. This is pretty cool though. I mean, it doesn't look. Like... Yeah. Oh, and this is a fastback. That seat folds down, right? Yep. A whole host of stereo equipment inside. So you're like a low key stereo guy? I actually took it to a stereo competition once. The only thing that they thought was mentionable was my door panels. For some reason, that's what they liked out of this car was the door panels. Not, no. not the amps in the back, not the rest of the whole car. That's such a cool way to hide your amps. I never even yeah. Yeah, that is expected cool. that. Dude, you run a 335? 335s in the back. What did you, when you got this car in high school, what were you thinking you were gonna like? What was your. Goal. Well, originally it was a, a 340 car, and I had a supercharger on that, and I made Weber side drafts to keep it all into the hood so right. nobody would know, and then I just, you know, it, it gets away from you, right? It just grows. You just said, I put Weber side drafts, the most difficult thing you could tune. To, to run. <laughs> to tune on yeah. this, yeah. and on you put. Yeah, the 340 was a high comp motor with the supercharger. I put water meth injection on it. It was my daily driver for a lot of years, and then, you know, it just evolved into a monster. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this car low key represents your, your personality because you seem like a nice, tame dude on the outside, but on the inside. <laughs> on the inside, you're an animal. Yeah, under the, under the hood that you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> and what gears you running in the back? 323s, I think. Oh. Really because of the three speed. Yeah. To get down the freeway so I can still drive the thing. What about, what about the suspension on this thing? Pretty much just beefed up the torsion bars in the front, add a leaf in the back to stiffen it up, and that's about it, and added a rear sway bar. Obviously this is one of those drift cars. Yeah, it's a full-on <laughs> drift car. Yeah. It's a drift car. Oh, totally. Skid racer. Skid racer. Nice. I'm just trying to figure out how you wide body. A full new rear fender stretched over everything else. Okay. It's Did basically you... tubbed underneath. Ah, uh, okay. And then, and then stretched slide. over the outside, all steel. Nice. Oh, it's really? seated all the way across the top. Okay. And then, of course, underneath and tubbed inside. Yeah. Does it sound amazing? You like old muscle? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Many of us do, so let's hear it then. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got a thing. This is an I rumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna sound great in here. Little old school belt swing to keep yeah. it real. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you're up there. It up. adds character. Time for some action. We're gonna get this thing rowdy. Does it really leak that much gas? It's leaking a lot right now. It? Yeah, it's probably because the fuel pump makes a little pressure when it comes up. It's okay. just got a lot coming out. Yeah. All right. Can you look at this man's power windows? Oh. Oh, shh. I didn't even realize that. Look at this. Oh! It's flexing. That's a lot of gasoline to be leaking on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of gas. <laughs> <laughs>